Here is a fairly standard function-based view, and all it really does is render out a template that we already have. And granted, I made a new app for this, I made some URLs, and I added it into my settings, as well as my URLs, so make sure you know how to do that. Uh, but I have this function-based view, and if I look at it, this is all it is. It just renders out a template, not a huge thing going on here. Now to convert this into a class-based view, we're gonna inherit from a class called view. So this is the base view class. So base view class equals to view. And all I'm gonna do is say class and whatever view I wanna call this. In this case, I'm gonna call it course view. And again, we're gonna pass in that view there. So to have the exact same function work, I can bring it right over. So that function based view, I'm now turning it over here. But if you remember, our actual name for our function-based views don't really matter. But inside of a class-based view, they do matter. And they're correlated to the HTTP method that it's trying to handle. In other words, git is the default, so git will run here. But like if you were submitting a form, like F-O-R-M, you would often use the post method. And that's actually how you'd handle a form. We'll get to that later, but for now, We've got our course view. We'll import this into our URLs. We will render that out, comment out our old one, our function-based view here. Save that and refresh in here. And we had a little issue. We have to actually add in self here as well. Because if you are familiar with Python, when we say something like a new OBJ or a new object of a class, you often do something like that, and that object is an instance of that class. So to reference something like git, we have to actually reference self inside of there. And with that, we should solve that error. So if you see something like this, that means you did that same error I just did, which is rather important to see. And now it's actually rendering out that template just fine with that standard git method. And you can print out the various methods if you'd like is request the method. But notice that these are identical with the exception of the fact that this is in a class. So one other benefit of doing this is saying something like template name equals to about.html. And then we would just go ahead and say self.template name. And that renders out roughly the exact same thing. So this is pretty cool. The other aspect of this is literally coming in here and changing this template name to contact.html. Save that, refresh in here. What do you know? My template has actually changed. So that's one of the huge advantages of using class-based views is how easy it is to change things and inherit from things. Like we just inherited from the base class-based view of view. Stay with us.